back. Hello. Hey. Yeah. I'd like to say that I miss you all. Uh, no, it's been uh, it's been a good break for the for the team and for uh, the coaches, and I think everybody's glad to be back with um, with uh, the season getting ready to get underway and start a training camp. It's kind of kind of an anxious time for everybody, but uh, I just had the assessment run, and uh, it was outstanding. I don't know if I can say it any better. It was outstanding. Our guys came back in very 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 good shape, which they have to to play at the level that we want to play at. So. Um, with that, I'll take some questions. Do you have it, have you gotten to see Casey's extension as a reward of, of what, what can happen here if you're a guy like he is? Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think it, uh, I'd, I'd be shocked if it wasn't uh, a great example for other players to watch how Casey goes about his, his business, uh, both here and off the field. I mean, he, he's done a lot for the community, and uh, obviously, he's done a lot for this team, and he's been. Uh, very successful with his play, um, based on a lot, of, a lot of how he works when he comes in here. Why was it important to? I mean, it's two years left on a deal. It's kind of unusual. Why was it? it it's a unique case. It's, it's definitely a unique case. But uh, a lot of things played into the factor of that happening. But it, it is unique. Um, but again, like I said, there's a lot of over, just on and off the field things that warranted it. Is Corey Davis here? Uh, he is not. But uh, we're talking to him. No, nope, everybody's here. How much would it hurt the more potentially? How much would it hurt more potentially if he misses the first day of field camp? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm not gonna address that until he misses the first day or two, I'm, which I'm hoping he doesn't, obviously. But uh, well, I'll I'll address it if if it gets into a period that he's missing time. But uh, that's not the case right now. On the flip side, how important is it that he just gets these reps, considering what you want from him this year? And his yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd be. Mistaken, not to say he, every rep's important. Every every single rep's important for everybody. Marcus, do a full go tomorrow. Uh, he is cleared to go. Um, we are still gonna. We're not gonna just send him out there and have have at it. Uh, he's still gonna have some limited reps. Um, not as much as he had obviously in the off season uh, camps, but uh, it's not gonna be like he's been healthy the whole time. We're gonna we're gonna watch him. What about Kevin Dodd? Do you think we have the same? He's full go. He's full go as well. He's How much is this camp as critical for him as, as it is for anybody on this team? Yeah, I think he has, you know, he's got a, uh, you know, he, has, he hasn't had a lot of time. Um, that's what has been an issue with him. And, uh, you know, we, we we need him. I think he knows that. I think he, he wants uh, he wants to play. He wants to practice. He wants to be out there with his teammates. And he wants to be good, and uh, that's important to him. And we want him to be. I mean, we need we need as much um, help as as an edge rusher we can get. You know, can't have enough, in my opinion. Um, it's important that he can comes up and shows that he can do it. Well, we provide a little bit of insurance there, given sure. given Dodd's situation. Sure. I mean, we have we have some depth there now. You know, it's, that is always an issue, a concern about depth, um, especially at that position. And uh, we feel better about that position now. What do you particularly like in particular about Waldman? And I guess it's also how unusual is it for a guy to make a jump to you know career high sacks like 11 last year at the age of 30 or, or 31? Uh, again, that's why then and not earlier. I, I can't speak for the scheme or the you know his opportunities, but uh, he's been a thorn in. Uh, I mean, any any place I've been that we've had to play against him, he he is a good football player. Uh, he's a nasty player. He's not dirty. He's just he is a physical. He's a physical player, and uh, has given us problems. Um, and uh, again, hoping hopefully he's building off what he did last year. Can that continues and gives us uh, you know force from the outside. Did Chitola cost himself uh, when he was being involved in two incidents? Uh, well, first of all, he couldn't practice with the uh, with the injury that he had, and uh, second, it just uh, he made some poor decisions and wasn't strictly um, wasn't strictly the two off season incidents that made that decision. You're saying that his bad decisions extended beyond that. Yes. Monitor a uh, good go health wise. Why hold him back? Why not just let him rip? Because um, we have time to again. I'm 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 not talking about uh, an extensive. Hold back. I mean, I'm just. There's going to be certain things I'm going to ease them into um, before.
before we un untie them. I'll start with the past one. I think that's the only that you guys have been sort of extended time with the PAs that I've talked about. Uh, they're, they're better. I mean, I, Ty J was in here. He's, he's been in here every week. Um, he's better. Um, um, Matt is going to probably be limited. Ty J probably won't practice um, tomorrow or I'm not even sure when. I mean, he'll, he'll be a, he'll be a PUP discussion um, later. And then um, we'll just have to limit Matt with the throws. Question about Carl Kluge. Uh, he's, uh, he, he, he could probably go full speed too, but we're going to, again, uh, like, like uh, Marcus, we're going to limit him with his reps. But he, he, is, uh, he has made a tr tremendous uh, effort to come back, and he, he, should, he, he, he could go if I let him. I know he wants to. Surprise. That doesn't surprise me. No, no, not at all. What's uh, uh, what's the thrust of your message to the team? I'm today? sorry. Sorry, probably PUP for Luke. Or no, I don't think so. Um, I don't think so. Again, we're we're talking about it, but uh, he just did the conditioning test um, with with the the D line and, and looked great running again. What's the thrust of your message to the team today? Then, what what do you want to send them out into camp thinking? Uh, it's not going to change much from when they came in here in April about. Uh, us getting better um, every day that we're here, like we did in the off season. I thought we got better as a team, as individuals, as units. I think that's not going to change. Um, if we can improve over what we did last year, I think we all know what what the uh, reward is. We just it's it's about getting better and uh, putting her coming in here. And don't worry about what's being said outside this building. Worry about what we need to do inside the building. Did you use Mikey? Negativity going into last year—it's such a different narrative around your team than it was a year ago. Did you use that then? Do you try to now block out all the people picking you? I, I'm, you know, I'm constant, I do that all the time, regardless of what it is. I try to ignore things that are outside sources that can easily influence um, football teams. And so uh, it's a matter of what we believe in here and the expectations we set amongst ourselves in here, and uh, and that won't change. Talk about that, uh, with, I mean, ten win projection, twelve win prediction. That's 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 nice. Um, I I think uh, I think it's nice because I think it's recognizes what they did last year, and they're, they're the talk is about what we did last year, and again that that was last year, and this is another the totally different year, totally different, um, not totally different, but a big a lot of changes on this team. Um, so you got to just be careful of. of Paying attention to that. You mentioned Sylvester Williams in your kind of injury rundown and how anxious are you to see him out here? He's full go. He just he did the assessment run as well. Um, he's in great shape. He sh he should have no restrictions. Eric Flipper is kind of full go, and, and also maybe if you could talk about what you expect him to, uh, or how you expect him to influence the younger guys in terms of, of detail and, and, and things like that. Yeah, he he is full go. Um, again, his role. He, he may have a little bit more of a role of being a utility guy that can play in multiple positions. We're going to start him out um, in the slot and as a Z receiver with Richard. Uh, but he'll play all over the place. Um, you know, there's the value of having him in that room with, with some young guys. Again, even in, in Eric Walden coming in, another veteran that's had some success is, is invaluable to me when it gets, you see how guys have done things over their career and the success that's come from it. Um, I think we just added another guy in that receiver room that will help that room. How important is it that we see the changes, not just in, on your roster, but in the building? Can you talk about where this organization, or how far it's come from when you joined it as an assistant coach to today? Well, there's been a lot of change. Uh, um, we, we talked about it last year when um, we first got together, John and I, and, uh, you know, the, the, the facility has really changed. I mean, from when I got here, we've gone through two phases of uh, renovation, and this year it included the uh, the weight room and the training room, and uh, we expanded and basically it's it updated it to I think to be one of the top uh, facilities in the NFL. I'd be shocked to see if there's anything better than this. And uh, Amy has been very instrumental, I mean, very instrumental in making sure it's gotten done. She she has seen the vision that John and I have uh, put in front of her, and she's on board with it. And uh, I think. I think the players 
I think the players respect that we're trying to, to, to do it right for them and make it one of the uh, best facilities that they come to work in every day. And Amy's been very supportive of that. How important has it been in a lot of the guys you brought in, uh, including even guys like Decker and Walter, along with Logan Ryan, Williams, that they've come from organizations that have had experience winning at some point, and they've had that taste of success at some point in their careers. Add that on to personal uh, success and have had some team success. I think that just gives them more credibility when they when they walk in that room. What's your thought process? I guess throughout camp, as far as how much you'll be in pads and how much does that help guys get ready for the season? Uh, we'll be in pads uh, every chance we have a chance to be in pads. Okay, we can't, by by rule we can't be in pads the first four practices. That's tomorrow and uh, and Sunday. So. Uh, Monday will be the first time, and those those are a lot of them are scheduled for the mornings. But um, if you look at the schedule for the practices, it's a variation of different times. A lot of that's um, thought out. The Monday night practices uh, it allows the players to get a little more recovery from a Saturday game. Um, also gets them out of the heat. Also gets fans the ability to come out and watch us. People that work all day have the ability to come out and watch us under the lights and. Uh, and I think our players enjoy practicing at night. And then, obviously, we have the Friday night lights, which is new. That's in Centennial High School. It'll give fans, again, a chance to come out and watch us um, there and the scrimmage, family night scrimmage at the stadium. I mean, there's just a variety of times. So if you feel like you can't make it out to a practice because of work, look at the schedule. At some point, you'll be able to make it out here. And we've, we're inviting everybody to come out and watch this team, especially with what, again, Amy is responsible for, putting all those stands. Uh, out there uh, on the fields. I mean, it's going to be a comfortable environment. They're covered to get out of the, the heat. And um, I mean, it's, it's again, that's another change. You know, Corey asked me about that's a change just in itself of what we're doing for the fans for training camp. Has uh, as Tajay responded, in your opinion, it's been a kind of a rough stretch of months. I mean, towards the end of last year, there's a little bit of a decline, and then the yeah, injury he, in the offseason situation. How, how is he responding to all that in your? Uh, very positive. He, he understands he's made some mistakes and um, a, a mistake, and and uh, trying to handle it the best he can. But he's been very positive, but apologetic. Well, you expect to be in the mix in the return game, and is that something you'll maybe take up until late August? Probably we'll do that. Um, but again, we have more options than we've had since I've been here. With a Dory back there with punts, uh, Eric Weems back there. Uh, Harry's always got return ability. Um, uh, kickoff return, Kofani. Muhammad's got a chance back there. Um, Eric Weems again. I've been with Eric as a returner, uh, kick returner. Uh, may again put Trey McBride back there in the mix. Got some options um, for both punt and kickoff return. Take another step. I thought he took one last year, uh, coming in here, really uh, not in, not intimidated by the level of um, of the game. Really confident in his ability. He looks great. Again, I, to me, the, the the second year when guys come back in here and they've had a year in an NFL system and NFL weight room, their whole body type is different, and um, you can just see he's, he's been working at it. Um, so he <clears throat> just take another step. See if he can be more of a force. Make more, more plays for us. All those guys to be able to do everything. Is it, is it fair to expect that he's plays more center field than he did last year? Um, much or right now? Uh, I think that again. I think that's it's all based on the the way we were going to attack the opponent. Um, what is their plan and how we are going to counter it? And so I can't say it's going to be more. It's, it's, there's been no conversation to get him back there more. It just depends on how we want to um, play our defenses for our, those games. I mean, I heard him in here and said that he might give you more work than he had a year ago. What do you make of that? I love it. I mean, uh, I, never, I hope everyone wants to get more work and play more and, and be more involved. Um, we'll see how that all unfolds. Again, a lot of that has to do with how we're game planning. Um, but he'll, get, he'll, he'll have enough to keep his hands full, I promise. You also mentioned that 
you know, maybe in some previous teams, he was tempted to stay on the field longer because a bit of a drop off between the, the backs. Maybe this is here. That's it's, it's not the case. How, how much has Henry, you know, helped in that in that kind of situation? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, well, I think it's we haven't uh, we have an option now, um, and you saw it last year. I, what the numbers are this year, I'm not going to predict that because I'll, I'll get myself in a back myself into a corner with that one. Uh, they'll both be involved. They'll both be effective for us. Uh, how that will be, we'll see when we line up on Sundays. How much do you think the offense overall has the new pieces that you've got? Again, we have, we have more uh, options to attack people, to me. Um, and that's what I'm, we're always looking for. How many, how many different ways can we come from all angles to attack the defense? And we have more now. Do you think that maybe changes? Even on a week to week basis, you know, one sure week you get for a 300 next, next week run for 200. And you see it going bouncing a week to week like that? I see it, uh, however, we got to win the game. Um, that's what we're going to do. So, um, again, no predictions. We just we have some more options of how we can keep some teams off balance and uh, try to hit them again from as many angles as we can to, tr to try to gain an advantage. Will the change in the the roster reduction rules where you're not going to have the cut to 75 this year, does that change how you're going to approach the, the preseason games and maybe who plays how much in each? Uh, it may. It, we haven't got to that point yet. Um, it may. But, I, I, you know, I like the rule. We were in favor of it. And uh, I think it just gives, it gives players another opportunity to show other teams that, you know, obviously it's a big cut from 90 to 53. It just gives other teams more opportunities to, to see it one more time. And um, I, li I like that. It's, it's about opportunities for, for some guys. They may never play again. With what you lost last year at tight end, you, you lost the physicality of, of two really good blockers. Can you replace that with what you have at that position, or does that have to come from Nudie and, and a guy like Kelly? I think everybody's going to kind of take over. Um, obviously, we're, we're hoping our tight ends understand what's expected from them. You know, I, I think they know that. Um, I know John knew knows what's expected from him. Um, Supernaw's been here long enough to know that uh, he'll, he'll have a larger role and how important it is. But we'll find other ways. Again, it, based on our personnel is how we're going to do things. Again, we're not going to force feed anything down that we can't do. If we are struggling in something, we'll get away from it. We're going to do what we're good at. Anything else? Okay. All right. Thank you. Good to see you all.